It can be super frustrating when you get a drip coming out of your Delta faucet like this, but switching out the cartridge is really easy. First thing you'll need to do is turn off the main water that goes into the house. Mine is just outside my house. It's different for every house. You'll just need to find out where yours is and shut it off. Now this particular Delta faucet has two cartridges, one for the hot and one for the cold. So the next thing we need to do is figure out which one is dripping. Is it the hot or the cold? And keep in mind that it could be both that's causing the drip. Now to figure this out, it's as simple as just feeling it. So I put my hand under the drip and it was pretty warm. So I can tell that it's the hot that needs to be switched out. To get to the cartridge, the first thing we need to do is take the cap off. And I just use a small flathead screwdriver to do that. And it comes right off. And then you can use a Phillips screwdriver to take out the screw that's in the middle. And then the handle will come off and you can see the cartridge right there. I'll use these tongue and groove pliers to loosen the bolt that's around the cartridge. Then once it's loose, I'll just use my fingers to take it off the rest of the way. Pay attention to the way the cartridge is placed because you'll want to put the new one back the exact same way. Now this cartridge came out pretty easy, but they're not always going to come out easy like that. So you'll just have to work at it until you get it. Now I also want you to notice the notches on this cartridge. There's one of these notches on each side. Those are there to help you put the new cartridge in the correct way. So you just slide it in to the grooves in the handle there just like you see here. And then once you have that in, you can put the ring back on. I finger tighten it. And then after I finger tighten it, I use the tongue and groove pliers to tighten it down the rest of the way. Now it's time to put the handle back on and the handle will only go in one way and it will fit on there just like a glove. And then you'll put the screw back on and tighten it with a Phillips screwdriver. Now the only thing left is putting that cap back on. You just pop that on and you turn the water back on. After you turn the water on, you're finished. It's that easy. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.